Sagittarius. This is going to be your bonus love reading. I'm sorry it took so long. We're here. We're doing this. This is for Sagittarius. <laughs> this is the bonus read that I promised y'all. It's here. We're doing it. <laughs> this is Bunny. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius. We're going to dive right in. I've already done some sound clearing of the space. I did a little quick meditation before we started. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to start with the Romance Angels. Whoa. <laughs> Job and stiff. All right. Sagittarius. Bonus love read. This is going to be a timeless read. So whenever you find it, it's for you, Sagittarius. And just be mindful. These bonus love reads get very long. So carve out enough time and space to listen and tune in to this message. I have a lot of love decks and I'm very thorough when I do the bonus love readings that you guys earn because I just want to show you how appreciative I am for you, you know, putting all those views on my shorts. So this is my way of saying thank you to the signs that give me the most views on my shorts videos. All right, what do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh. Um, I'm going to go ahead before we get started. Oh, I love this. And welcome in my spirit guides, my star family, my ancestors, my guardian angels. I'm going to go ahead and put some sacred space around us and ask the Archangel Michael stay here to protect this space. I'm also going to invite in all the guides and star family and ancestors of the Sagittarius that watch me. Welcome to my sacred space. I love all of you. Thanks for being here. <clears throat> All right, Sagittarius, the first two cards that flew out are love yourself first and worth waiting for. So we have your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This is pretty amazing, Sagittarius. So this shows me that you are, I'm sorry, my throat is so dry today. <laughs> I ate Chinese food with my kids earlier and now I'm so thirsty. <laughs> I don't know if it's a salt or the MSG. Either way, it was worth it. Okay, so this tells me that you're really, really working really hard on your self-love, Sagittarius, and it's showing. You know, your spirit guides are so proud of you. You're doing a fantastic job showing yourself that love that you so deserve. You're so incredible, and don't forget it. All right, so... It's making you romantically attractive. It's drawing people in like a magnet to you. It's beautiful. We also have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Oh, this is crazy awesome, Sagittarius. So, you know, this is a divinely guided connection. And, and you know, your spirit guides are letting you know it's worth waiting for. Okay, it's worth waiting for. So do not feel at any moment that it's taking too long because your spirit guides are saying it's literally worth waiting for. This is going to be everything that you want and more. It's like all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> what else do we have for Sagittarius? I love that. And then we have getting to know each other. Ooh, somebody's starting something up. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this is the energy, Sagittarius, of getting to know someone on an even deeper level. So even if you have a connection with someone um, and you guys, you know, are talking, there's going to be some moments where the connection just gets way more intimate and way deeper than you ever imagined it could it's you know it's like one of those things where you start sharing your innermost secrets and you feel that bond get even stronger than you ever thought possible okay so for those of you that are in separation with your person this was on the bottom of the deck reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life 
So this could literally mean someone from your past that you had something with that maybe you don't now or maybe you're just not in, you know, talking. Could be like a twin flame situation where you're, you know, in separation, in the separation phase. Oh, let me turn my phone off. Ugh. Sorry about that, Sag. Um, so it could be that, um, or it could be like literally like a past life connection. Like, you know, you guys have known each other in a past life or something. So let's keep that in mind. All right, what deck are we going to use next? I'm just going to put this deck right back in there because I hate having to put all my decks back. Um, let's pull up some cards from the Love Oracle. I am going to use these tarot cards eventually. I don't know if it's just me, y'all, but my allergies have been off the chain. It's something about, I think, the heat's being on or something. Um, I feel like I, I can't even breathe out of my nose. It's weird. I mean, it's not stuffy. It's just, my nose just feels dry. I think I need to invest in a humidifier. That's what it is. All right, what do we have for Sagittarius? <clears throat> I love that Sagittarius we have music music makes the world go round we're gonna get three of these spirit thank you one more we have music we have change what else and I feel like I want to take one more okay so we have music Ta-da! Your person may play music somehow. They might send you music. I feel like this is a connection where they may have sent you songs. You guys may have sent songs to each other. You know, music is very important um, to certain people. It for sure is for me. And so, like, maybe they sent you music. Or maybe your person is a musician. Who knows? We also have change. So I feel like there's a pivotal moment right now for both of you. This is like where your connection is changing for the better. Because both of you has have changed in the inside. So therefore it's changed your outer, right? And look, we have spiritual awakening. So we go through many of these <laughs> throughout our lifetime. It's not like, oh, I'm awakened. You know, like your spiritual awakening never stops. Like once you're awake, you cannot go back to sleep. And so I feel like um, you may be both going through another spiritual awakening. That's why we have change. You know, it, I mean, it, it could be another dark night of the soul, but pardon me, I'm putting on some <laughs> lip gloss. Um... My lips are so dry, too. So, it smells like cupcakes. It makes me hungry. But it doesn't feel like a dark night of soul. It feels like um, a beautiful transformation. And look at this, Sagittarius. We have hookup. So, this could be literally you guys having a physical encounter, meeting up. It doesn't even have to be sexual. It, I mean, it, they're laying down in bed together, but it doesn't even have to be sexual. Like, to me, a hookup could be like you're meeting each other, like it's face to face, right? This person might reach out to you or might like ask if they can see you, right? What did I just do with that deck? I swear I just had it. It's so confusing. One second. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so let's see what deck we're going to use next. Um, why don't we draw a Power of Love card for you? Mm -hmm. Now, this is an activation deck, so this means that whatever card I pull is... Why the hell did that shuffle come out so stupid? <laughs> Um, that, uh, why is this deck not shuffling? Um, that whatever 
card comes out is the gift that's being activated for you at this moment, Sagittarius. Ooh, this the energy feels a bit sticky right now. It did. My chair is squeaking so crazy right now. It's so funny. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh, it flips. Let's take it. Unity. Wow. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. Wow. It's union. It's beautiful. <sighs> Can we just exhale on that, <laughs> Sagittarius? It says, you understand that the love shared with another, with another, <laughs> I can't talk, is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. To me, this feels like union. So you know how when two twin souls get together and their love has a very intense effect on the planet and on the consciousness of those around them. You know, because we're all one united consciousness. Conscience. Oh my God, I can't talk today. Consciousness. We are all one. We're all connected. And so, therefore, this love is felt in a ripple wave throughout all of us, right? Right? It is absolutely beautiful. I love that so much. All right. Um, let's go ahead and what are we going to do next? We're going to draw a Whispers of Love card for you. I want to dive into the tarot too, but I want to leave that for the end. So just in case we have like questions, we can take a little bit longer time on that. So I tend to try to get the one, you know, the, the cards like this, like <clears throat> the Oracle cards first. What do we have for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, please. About their love life. And this beautiful connection, what do we have for Sagittarius? All right, we have be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. I love that, it's so beautiful. It's number six, wow. So number six is the number of a spiritual connection. So this definitely is a spiritual connection. There is some type of, excuse me, spiritual connection involved here. It's not just a regular connection, which is what I expect, suspected in the beginning. I want to read this because I've never actually. Um, read this card, so I just want to see. This could also be some inner child healing. I see like a little child here. It says, you are a genuinely loving individual. Expressing love to others helps them to feel supported, respected, and cared about. As you practice this custom, you will become more loving. When you want to be more loving, it is easy to recognize ways of doing so. One way to express love is through eye contact. Your eyes are the most expressive parts of your body. Making eye contact when you are speaking with someone tells them you see, hear, and appreciate them. Try making eye contact with others a daily practice. It is easy to become distracted by our busy lives, but a moment of eye contact can make a world of difference to those who you communicate with. A young sea nymph makes eye contact with a small mermaid sitting in a seashell. Oh, it's a mermaid. The seashells represent the spiritual gifts that you possess. Oh, that's beautiful. The feathers on the sea nymph's head are about giving thanks or showing appreciation. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Mermaids are usually a symbol of love. Oh, see? The universe is listening. They know we're doing a love reading. Share eye contact with those you speak to and see how it deepens your connection. Okay, Sag. Spirit is asking you to make some eye contact. One second. Okay, sorry about that, Sagittarius. I just realized, too, that we have to use this deck. <clears throat> My daughter made me this elephant. Isn't it so cute? She's always making me little things for like my space where I work. She's so beautiful. I love it. All right. Um, there. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull a major arcana card for you. This is um, tarot. Oh, yeah. Tarot of the heart. And these are all major arcana cards. So. Let's pull one of these for you, Sagittarius. Let's see what you got. All right, what do we have for Sagittarius in regards to this connection? <clears throat> Sagittarius, please. We have the star. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look. Ta-da. So the star represents hope. It, it's also a big, huge yes. So if there's a question you're wanting answered with the star that comes up, the answer is always yes. <laughs> so there's the answer to your question, Sagittarius. Like if you were wondering, is this my person? Spirit is saying yes. All right. Inspired love. What is it? Okay. I'm going to read from the book. The star is a sign of guidance and inspiration associated with the sign of Aquarius, the water carrier. From two pitchers, water pours into a small pool and nearby onto fertile earth. This replenishes the pool, symbolizing unconscious wisdom and waters the earth in the hope that life will grow. The eight-pointed star full of heavenly promise is an emblem of purity and renewal. Okay, so it says if you're in a relationship, the star shines on you and your partner as you enjoy a time of happiness as your relationship grows. You are able to care for one another unselfishly and the energy between you flows. This is also a time to enjoy a period of serenity and perhaps a special gift. Now this is if you are looking for love, the meaning. You have hope in your heart. Someone seen from afar inspires you with pure love leading you towards a new relationship and fulfilling creative work. Your star may also be a mentor who rekindles your spirituality. Whatever your situation, the star guides you towards great success. Oh my goodness, such a that is. The shining star. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, we're going to do a celebration of love card. Celebration of love for Sagittarius. Ooh, I'm accidentally moving my deck, my um, tarot deck. All right, let's do a celebration of love for you. What do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for beautiful Sag? Ooh, look at that. We have Prosperity. Atlantean Priestess. So what is standing out to me is there's a ship on the card, which could represent traveling in some um, essence, like going to see your person and I'm coming to see you. If you guys are at a distance from each other, right? Um, there's also the moon, which represents feminine energy. And then we also have Atlantean Priestess. Wow, that is a really freaking beautiful image. Atlantean Priestess. I love that so much. Oh, we need to read this. I don't know these cards. These ones at all. Because I don't ever use this deck. Okay, this image celebrates the gems of our inner temple. 
It calls us to cherish, cultivate, and expand our talents and to nurture with love and gratitude our sacred connection with the divine. So this is about being connected to the divine source of love, right? Which connects all of us. What did I do with that deck? Why am I losing all the ducks that I've... I literally just had it and I'm so confused. Did I put it down somewhere? Oh, it's over there. Okay, so it's about your connection to the divine, the divine source, the divine God. Establish your inner temple, your meeting place with the highest. So this is you know, your connection to whatever divine um, energy you relate with, okay? Establish your inner temple, your meeting place with the highest. See it in your mind's eye. Go inside your heart, the place of pure love and creation, and create an incredible sanctuary to go to any time you desire. Promise yourself to visit it daily when you first wake up and the last thing you do before you fall asleep, plant the seeds for health, wealth, abundance, and prosperity, joy, happiness, and love. You are being inspired to become more inner directed than being guided by outer influences. S excuse me. Stand strong in who you are. You are part of the divine. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love that so much. You can't even see the card because the light is so bright. I'm sorry. All right. Very nice. Um, yeah, I like that for you, Sag. Um, what should we do now? Let's do the Bodhi Tarot. Okay. This is the one that's like shaped like a heart. Ooh, what the hell happened there? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hate this. Ah. All right. Oh, my gosh. This one flew out. Self-love is important at this time. Put yourself first. Take care of yourself and be gentle with yourself. This is the second time <clears throat> something has come out about self-love, Sagittarius. So Spirit is really hammering that home. Remember to love you. Remember to love you. You are beautiful. You are seen. Here it is again. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Make sure to fill your own before filling others. Again, this is about self-care. Oh my gosh, these cards are flying out. A twin flame connection, oh my God, is in or is entering your life. This could be a friend or a lover. It's always a lover. D totally disregard what it says friend. Our twin flames, yes, they can be our friend, but they're always our lover, right? They're our ultimate lover. <laughs> it's You cannot meet your twin flame and not want to be their lover. Let's just say that. You know, the divine would never put together two people that are twin flames that cannot be together romantic wise. Okay, that's absolutely absurd and ridiculous. So when people say that, it gets on my nerves. <laughs> Either way, this connection may be triggering as they are a reflection of yourself. So yeah, there's your confirmation right there from Spirit. It is your twin flame. Boom. 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 Shaka laka 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 laka. We're done with that. Okay. <laughs> there is no doubt now. Okay, we are going to do, is there any more decks that I need to use from over there? No. We are going to do the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Because after all, this is a love reading, right? <laughs> what is love without sex? Nothing. <laughs> this is a whole kid in Kabuto. Although it's sex isn't everything, there's different ways of intimacy. And, you know, all of them are important. Sex is just one aspect of a connection. Sagittarius. We have Ace of Wands. Speaking of sex, <laughs> your person is very, they're very good at sexuality. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Sexual prowess. 
<laughs> uh, six of cups. What else? So this is definitely a spiritual connection. Look, we have six of cups. Okay. Someone is feeling very nostalgic for you, Sagittarius. They're missing the crap out of you. Oh, and we have the lovers. That's two sixes. Look at this, Sagittarius. This is definitely... Let me cover up her nips. This is definitely twin flamey. Twin flamey, again. We, we just pulled... This is a twin flame connection, right? Or it's coming into your life. If it hasn't, it will be. Like, flip the script, like, a few days, few few weeks. I would say, you know, probably the end of January, maybe beginning of February, okay? Because we're reading for the timeline of January, right? Okay? There's an angel, divinely guided, okay? This is the lover's card. Okay, pay, pay the fact that he has two women here, no mind. It, it doesn't represent two women. It represents the two sides of a woman, right? The, the side that can either be closed off or be open. You see how their energy is completely different? This one closed off, this one open. I mean, she has her freaking boobs out, right? And the masculine can either bring either, either one of those feminines out. You know, if he's abrasive, she's going to be closed off. If he's open like she is, she's going to be open, you know, just like he is. The woman responds accordingly. She responds depending on the masculine's energy. Does she feel safe? If she feels safe, then she will open up to you. If she does not feel safe, then you're fucked. Period. <laughs> right? So here we have number six again. So again, it's a spiritual connection. Six represents spiritual. It, it represents, I'm sorry, spirituality. But it also represents you going within, you diving into your spiritual journey. So, you know, when it comes to a connection, this represents a spiritual connection, right? Again, we have someone feeling nostalgic. Look. Someone missing someone. Someone remembering the good times and saying, God, I miss those moments. And then we have the Ace of Wands. I'm going to cover her up, right? The This couple just got done making love. Look, they're happy. She's pregnant. Okay, so this could be birthing something new in regards to your connection, right? And there's two figures in a flame. So this is a very deep, passionate connection. And if you ever decide to, you know, be on that next level together, your sex is going to be it, incredible, amazing. <laughs> Can I just say that? <laughs> because the Ace of Wands is about really fiery, passionate sex. So I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Um, let's pull from the Monara. And then we'll dive into the Tarot. Um, actually, no, we'll pull from the Who um deck first and then we'll dive into the tarot and then we're going to end with a message from your person the secrets of their heart that they don't want you to know because they're crazy <laughs> all right how long has this region gotten we're actually making a really good time sagittarius please what do we got i'm sweating it's hot all right the muse this there's nothing showing on this card, except for some booty. The muse living in my dreams. It's number 10. So this is about someone being inspired by you, Sagittarius. It's also the energy of someone watching you and spying on you. And they're beginning to realize how much you inspire them to be better. <clears throat> you also inspire their work somehow. If they're an artist or they do something artistically, you inspire the shit out of them. All right, so we have 31, purity of purpose. Ooh, look at that. This is the energy of someone or something taking aim, right? It's very streamlined focus. This person knows exactly what they want, Sagittarius. 
It's this energy of, I got my eye on you. I know exactly what I want, and it's you. Look it. It's like, it reminds me of Cupid's bow and arrow, right? This is also the energy of a very fierce and confident female. Look, she's a divine feminine, and she's beginning to realize how incredible she is. She's like, I'm strong. I'm sexy. I have been through a lot, but I still take aim and know what I want in life. She's not going to settle, right? Let's pull one more. And neither is your person. The road to regret or remorse. Wow, look at that. So someone is feeling some remorse or regret. They're regretting how they treated you. They might have done something that didn't sit well with you. So we have number four, which lets me know that it's on this card. It's 31. The angels are directing this arrow. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen, right? It's being directed. The fate of the arrow is in the hands of the angels. This is number 10, which represents a fresh start with your person. This person might come forward with, an, with a message of regret. They may have did something that they just know was not the right thing to do. And though I'm not excusing their behavior, the twin flame connection will, it can be very rocky. And they may have either felt afraid or both of you felt afraid. And that energy of, of fear and shame sort of got in the way of your connection, Okay. This is also number seven. So luck is on both of your side. Okay. It's a really beautiful energy. All right. Let's do the who deck to see if we can get some character traits of your person. Now, this portion may resonate with some of you. Probably not with all of you. I have a lot of people, Sagittarius, is that watch me. There's a handful, you know. And so, like... um. I mean, I'm sure there's more than that, but <clears throat> from the likes, um, it's usually around, you can tell about a handful of people that <clears throat> tune in and will like the video anyways. So depending on how many people are going to watch this, the energy is going to not resonate with everyone, but it's going to be for someone anyways. Faithful. <laughs> Your person is completely committed to you, Sag. Look, there's a, a pink rose here, which again represents Lady um, Nada, which is the queen and an ascended master who helps um, unite twin flames. And her symbol is the pink rose. Look, we have full body. So your person may have some curves, um, he or she. What is that noise? Let's keep two more cards, please. Sagittarius, their person. <clears throat> One more card. For Sagittarius, their person. Ooh, that one flew out. So we have, hold on one second. We have body art. So your person may have some tattoos, Sagittarius. And then we have medium or dark hair. <clears throat> so take that how it resonates. What a beautiful energy. Okay, so <clears throat> moving on. We are going to do. Let's do the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. What do we have for Sagittarius? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, what else does Sagittarius need to know about this connection, please?
Whoa, that one flew out. So we have Clarity of Belief. It's number one, which I believe as the Ace of Swords. Look at this. There's the butterfly, which we had in the change card. Again, one represents fresh start, a new beginning. And here is a heart. Look, someone has had a change of heart. Someone is wants to reach out. They have seen the change in themselves. They've become the butterfly and also their person has become the butterfly. There's been a huge transformation and we have the heart here. They're feeling the love of this person. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that Sagittarius. It was really loud. <laughs> so I had to let um, my son know that his video was too loud. Um, okay, so this is the Ace of Swords. This is clarity, right? Ace of Swords is clarity. Someone has come to a realization of something. There's a moment of truth. There's an aha moment when they realize, look at that. There's love in the air. Right? They realize that their heart belongs to you. Look at he's holding on to his heart. And then there's the love that's coming from the ethers and it's hitting him right in the leg. Look, it's like something has happened to this masculine's heart. I can feel it. He feels like he's having a heart attack or something. It's like all of a sudden the love just hit out of nowhere and he's like, whew. <laughs> he feels really confused. It's a little bit overwhelming for him. He's not used to feeling like that, but you bring it out in him. Number 16 rebuilds. This is a tower, I'm pretty sure. It's number seven again, so luck is on your side. Things have to be torn down to be rebuilt. Look, it is the tower. But do you notice how this woman is holding on to her heart? It's almost like both of these cards, there's, they're holding on to their hearts. It's like, boom, they feel it. It's like an electric shock in their hearts. Neither of them were expecting to feel this deep of a connection. Look at that. The feminine too. Look, she's holding two hands over her heart. And she has angel wings, right? That's incredible. It's so beautiful. I went and looked that up. I, I want to make sure I know that's the tower card, I'm pretty sure. So in a love reading, the tower usually represents like something hitting you really really fast and quick almost like a bolt of lightning it's like a love that's so that hits you so hard that it's it's shocking right <laughs> it's like an unexpected beautiful surprise like it always whenever whenever i see the tower card in a love reading it always reminds me of that song um by miley cyrus um it came in like a wrecking ball, right? It came in like a wrecking ball. Because that's what it feels like. I never hit so hard in love. <laughs> it's like, boom. Oh, and it just... It's, it's, it's also about rebuilding the connection that you have, though. It's incredible. Look, it, it hits like a, a lightning strike. Neither of them were expecting to fall so hard. Last card for Sagittarius, please. Ooh, that one flew out. All right, this is a Two of Pentacles. This is about finding balance within yourself. But if you look, it's beautiful. Right here, there's a ring, which again represents commitment. We have a cup, which represents emotions. The hourglass, which represents justice and balance. And again, we have the rose, which is passion. One second. You're not going to believe this, Sagittarius, but I paused it right at 3939. 39. So I think that you should look up that angel number. It's of important significance for you. 
All right, I had to finish my water. Okay, let's go ahead and go <clears throat> on to the regular tarot. And then we're going to end with the messages of your person's heart. The secret messages of their heart. All right, what do we got for Sagittarius? All right, what do we got? So this is a very, very deep connection, Sagittarius. You can feel it. Oh, I'll pull the charm for you guys too, okay? What else does Sagittarius need to know about this connection? We have three of pentacles. So this is a period where your person really wants to work things out with you, right? Three is the card of working together. They're tired of the separation, I think. Or you guys could possibly work together. Knight of Cups. See, I told you they want to work with you. Look, they want to work it out. The Knight of Cups. This is an offer of love, right? The Knight of Cups represents an offer of love. He's offering the cup. He's coming in on the horse with the cup and saying, I'm tired of being alone. I want to work this out. I want to work something out with you. They're ready to work it out. Three of Pentacles represents collaboration, working together. All right, why do we have the Ten of Swords here, please? Why do we have the Ten of Swords here, please? Oh, look at that. So we got the Ten of Swords and we got the Four of Pentacles. I asked why we had the Ten of Swords. Somebody sabotaged this. This is self-sabotage. And somebody did it by not opening up. Someone didn't want to open up about their feelings. Look at that. They were holding too tightly to their feelings. The Four of Pentacles is about not opening up. Someone was afraid to open up in this connection. And why do we have this card, please? Why do we have this card? Why do we have this justice card? All right, we have justice and two of swords. So justice is about, um, it's Libra energy. It's about balance and balancing the scales. But the two of swords is about being at a crossroads and being stuck between two different routes or choices and not knowing what decision to make, right? It's being stuck between two decisions. Your person is beginning to realize that something about this connection was out of balance. They couldn't find it within themselves to figure out how to approach you properly and they knew they had to come to a decision right the moon represents the energy of the feminine so the feminine in this connection may have already been aware of the connection where the masculine was stuck between a rock and a hard place literally maybe like trying to figure out what decision and what path that he could take because at some point, he realized how he felt and wanted to, to come forward, but felt stuck. Because he knew his energy was unbalanced in regards to the connection with you. Two more cards, please. Oh, look at that. We have two cards of like... A love offer. One more card, please. Final message for Sagittarius. What is the last thing you want Sagittarius to know about this connection, please? Thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel for source messages. Oh, man. All right, Sag, this energy is about to shift really quickly. 
So your person has been doing a lot of work in the background, okay? Both of you have been doing a lot of shadow work, um, working hard, both of you. Look at this. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, which talks about work in the physical, but it, but to me, it also represents like working, period, doing shadow work, spiritual work, right? So there, both of you are like working really hard on bettering yourselves. And then we have this energy of a masculine, you know, who's not just doing the shadow work, but also working hard to create tangible pentacles, you know, on the 3D plane because he wants to come with this offer of love. And at this time, um, maybe at, at, in the past, he was holding on to his emotions and there was an energy of someone sabotaging something. I feel like the masculine in this um, connection may have sabotaged something and he wants to come with a stable offer of love because he knows he cannot go to the goddess's temple without a stable offer because she's going to turn him away, right? So he's working really hard to create something in the physical for himself so that he feels worthy of this connection because of the way he sabotaged it in the past, right? And once he makes that decision, look, it moves very quickly. We have the eight of wands, which is the fast forward, quick movement. It's like the decision is made and then boom, there's the offer and there's the offer, the knight of cups right okay so let's go ahead it's like he realized how deep his love is let's go ahead and get um four cards from your person the message of their hearts that they haven't been able to express to you yet sagittarius my beautiful sag all right and then we're going to be done with this reading. We're going to get four cards. From my Lemurian Love Oracle. All right. So we have, you doubt our soul connection. I told you, someone doubted it. Someone didn't trust it. Someone was like, eh, no, that's not what this is. This is not a twin flame connection. <laughs> and boom, it was. <laughs> and here's the thing. Only you will know in your hearts of hearts if it's a twin soul or twin flame connection, right? This is the same thing. Um, nobody can tell you whether it is a twin flame connection. You know, I don't care how many cards come up to like, you know, confirm it. Only you will know. Only you can know, Sagittarius. And if any reader tries to tell you that they know this is your twin flame, they're lying. You know, we can read energy and we can read the cards and say, this is possibly what it is. And all the signs are pointing to it, but only you will know in your heart of hearts at the end of the day. We've had millions of missions together. Look at that. See, I told you it's a past life connection. You guys have reincarnated over and over again to find each other. I believe in you completely. Look at that. Oh, your person has so much faith in you. And they see the best in you. And that's making me a little bit emotional. It's really beautiful. They see the greatest version of you. Okay. And it lights up their hearts. And you know that we've had millions of missions together. You guys are going to have another mission together, right? As twin souls. I'm sorry. I know I hurt you. See, they know it. Sagittarius, it keeps coming out. They know that they fucked up and they're so sorry. And the thing is with the twin soul connection, it's not even like your person means to hurt you. It's like they're triggered by... Um, the fact that you are their mirror and sometimes they just don't want to face the shadows that we bring up for them so we just have to hold space for them right 
All right, Sagittarius, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this bonus love read. I love you so fiercely. Bye.